Good morning, everyone. We are off to a new week. Um, this week is mostly self-care week and meeting week. We have a lot of um, meetings for our, well, for our, all of our kids. Our school district has two days out of the week where they take time for conferences with all of the parents. So today is the baby boys meeting, his IEP meeting um, for special education. We get those accommodations set up, make a um, a plan for his education for the rest of the year going into the following year and we're gonna bring you along for that and then today um, I have a hair appointment so you will see that like damn she her move like damn she her move like damn, she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. She lit, got money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't packing out nobody's pants. He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Stuck in my waist, so I'm loving my bands. Like a million views in a day. There's so many ways to get paid. I try dipping, he begged me to stay. Hey, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rump. Big boobs in the bus, stay plump. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like, I tell you, always stay hot. Oh, they mad cause I keep making bops. Oh, she mad cause I'm taking her spot. If I was bitches, I'd hate me a lot. Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, get money too. Like damn, she in her mood. No friends, I don't fuck with the fake. Saying they love me, but one in my place. Step in the party, I'm looking the baddest. So the paparazzi in my face. Pretty bitch, but I came from the gutter. Said I'd be lit by the end of the summer. And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger. Going viral is getting them sicker. Like what? Let's keep it a buck. Bitch, too boring, got him stuck in a rut. Lamborghini wrong when I hop at the truck. Pretty bitch like Lauren with a big ass butt. Yup. Pretty face and a waist all gone. And I'm making them wait, hold on. It. It's a lot of gray. I think I'm gonna color my hair. But it's not, I don't know, it's, it's noticeable. When my hair is natural, you can't see it as much. You know, you can't see it as much. But um, with my hair straight, you can see it. When it's, you yeah. know, kinky, Puffy. it's. You, Kinky, babe. Kinky. It's kinky. Kinky. Not puffy. It's kinky. When you when it's kinky, um, then it, it it's camouflaged a lot better. Well, your woman got a whole lot of grays. That's okay. Your man got gray in the face. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it evens out. It evens out. Yeah.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay everybody i'm here at walmart and we're you know looking at holiday stuff i just have to show you this i don't know if this is a seasonal thing i do not come in walmart like that but i was smelling their items on their holiday aisle with the christmas stuff the candles the wax melts and everything and they have these this line called atwell I mean, y'all, Bath and Body Works knockoff. Do you understand me? This glow is similar to the mahogany teak wood almost that they have. I mean, it smells so good. Um, the Calm, they have them in the smaller, you know, candles. And then they have the liquids. For your diffuser reads right you just take the sticks and you put them in the top up there and then you have the bigger candles um up there um again i don't know if this is seasonal but this is a really good price point for such a huge bottle of uh you know room spray you know um and the diffusers again so uh, this is something if you can get to your local walmart check it out i mean five bucks for a candle and it's so um it's coconut wax so don't know i think i'm gonna get some of these i'm not gonna lie well i will get some and we will let you know how they work i think i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get one of, i'm gonna get this and then i'll go ahead and get i'll get one of these i'm gonna get one from the and i'll just get this one and then i'll let you know how they work out and keep you updated but I just have to say that really quick and they have a lot of good other brands you know the better homes I don't like their candles much I get my candles I used to get them from Pier 1 all the time um, but you know it's been hard I get them from Bath & Body Works all the time I catch their sales I mean I get them buttloads I love Bath & Body Works but I mean it's kind of hard to find those scents that are gonna you know you always want to go back to so but um, I'm gonna try these out I'm gonna see if this is something that's seasonal permanent whatnot and if I like it then I may have a new fine all right all right I'm back again we're still at Walmart okay um, so we have a tradition what is our tradition babe every year everyone picks out their own ornament to add to the collection on the tree yeah so every year we pick a new ornament a brand new ornament um they tell me what they want and i go searching for it and whatever it is um we pick it out regardless if it's a lego if it's a hallmark uh if it's a it don't matter what it is um like the little plushie babe the plushie you got the little we got this one for Weston because he loves Sonic. So Sonic is what he wants this year. And so we saw these and just wanted to let you know what our holiday tradition is. So we always do this. Um, and I think Walmart has them this year. If uh, Hallmark does have the better ornaments, um, I'm not going to lie, when it comes to what you're looking for and just being different and unique. So this is what West Justice got two years ago, that one. He got that one two years ago. Um, and then they have like the Thomas the Train. Weston always wants something Thomas. They always come out with a new Thomas every year. So we just wanted to like let you know what our tradition is. Um, we pick out an ornament every year, something different. We have two Christmas trees, one with the crazy ornaments and one that's decorated per me. So, um, and you'll see that later on down the road, but we just wanted to like tell you about our family tradition or one of them. Alright guys, we are still at Walmart and now we have found Halloween clearance. And look at these nails, y'all. Originally $3.98, but 50% off. That is not bad. I like I go get my nails done like this I'll say it's 50-50. So 50% of the time I'll do them at home and 50% of the time I'll go in and get my pedicures and my manicures. But I saw these and I was like, you know what? Let me get these because these are too freaking cute look at these 
I don't do the almond though. I don't. That is one thing I do not do the almond. I know, but they are so cute. Look at those. I may have to make an exception. I may. And these are so cute with that pink. I think I am. I'm just going to go ahead and get them for next year and for years to come just to have. I mean, 50% off $3.98. You can't beat that. Y'all, I do not come in the store. Hubby will tell you. Babe, do I go to the store? No. I do not go to the store. This is this is probably my first time in a well, Actually, I take that back. I don't go. To, I don't come to Walmart. I do not come in Walmart. But it is 8 something a.m. in the morning and I personally need to come in and look for a certain something to make sure it is what I wanted and I mean I'm finding all this stuff that I cannot find online obviously okay, like look at this Harry Potter I love Harry Potter speaking of Harry Potter honey I know how much you love Christmas magic is it an advent calendar no, no that's not it's oh. like a gingerbread house kind of deal y'all we're nerds and yep. we 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 are nerds Age so nerd, we're supposed to be in here shopping for the kids and look we're in here shopping for ourselves so yeah we gotta get um what's gonna call it look at those so i just have to stop i'm being corny right now but i just have to like say go to your nearest walmart check it out Sorry. Minecraft. Oh. Okay, I like this. Remember that scene from Avengers where like all all the all the women got together and started whooping it? Oh ass? really? Yeah, they made that an, an entire set. How much is it? A hundred? I know it is. Hogwarts. They do. 170. Oh, that's not bad though. These things are really. Look at the Sonic Ooh, down below. Yeah, Got a Camaro. Dino man. That's not mm -hmm. bad. That's, that's a cool Disney one. Which one? Yeah, I like to get fresh flowers, as, as you're going to see throughout. So, since we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and pick out a set. I mean, they have a lot of good options, though, babe. Which ones do you like? More fallish. So, you know, the sunflowers that I was looking at, this little one back here. But I have lily um, uh, roses already, so I don't want roses. But they're about to go with that one okay I think they're so beautiful they're all so pretty okay then we can let's pick this one I think this one is the better one okay and then I like this one too. oh my gosh she makes so much all these high seas fruit snacks Tips take daily snacks. Cool. Went ahead and got our turkey. We got our turkey. We got our ham. We got all our goodness because Thanksgiving is in a couple of weeks. Oh, why is it not? There we go. Thanksgiving is in a couple of weeks. So we got the turkey. We got the ham. We got all of our seasonings. Um, we got the little ones, some donuts. Krispy Kreme, the one nearest to us is maybe almost 30 minutes away from us so Walmart had things in there so we're gonna pick up justice now from school it's just about it's 10 2 a.m. so we um gotta go pick him up and we grab the little chick-fil-a all right yeah and then we had a pack of the orders home orders so, I like to order everything offline. Walmart can have it delivered. You know, that way if I do a pickup order like we did, we went to Walmart today to get our pickup order. We get everything that can be delivered to the house. Can we go there? Um, we'll put these in our room. Okay. Um, so, um, 
all the things that is available to be delivered online instead of stores, you know, canceling it out, you know, we just have it all delivered to the house. That way we know it's going to be in stock and we're going to get it. So, um, and I'm using these to make a chicken noodle casserole. Um, so yeah, to make it easier, so I'm to peel the potatoes, cook the potatoes. Um, with my neuropathy, sorry, I just, just, just y'all. With my neuropathy, I can't like, you know, I can't do a lot of writing. That's another reason why I went to the YouTube thing. It's just like documenting a lot of things. I like to journal and write, um, but that gets hard a lot of the time. And I like to journal just to kind of like, you know, journal about the things that I go through, my experiences, kind of like a part of a therapy situation, counseling. So, um, video recording will be, is one of the main reasons why I did it too. So, um, so yeah, so, um, I don't know what I was saying. Anyways, I don't know what I was saying. I just lost my thought. That's part of it too. I'm forgetting what I, I was thinking about, but, um, but yeah, but anyways, so those are a few of the things that we got, um, in order. Oh, Killing the potatoes. See, I'm telling you, that's 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 my my issues. Um, but um, short-term memory, yeah. So the potatoes can't peel potatoes and do that. So um, I have my my sons. My oldest son Braxton. He definitely does help when it comes to the cooking. So, um, but most of the time they don't want to do it. So I'm just like, let me just do it myself. I'll just get these little, little cans. You want a base um, I have a small one already down. Right. I'm going to use this one. Yeah, I'm going to use this one for my class. My flowers I just cut today. Um, for the last video, these ones, that's how they bloomed out. Um, they look really good. I mean, they bloom all the way out. This one didn't, you know, do too well. That one didn't either but it's okay most of them did though they're very very pretty they smell so good oh my gosh they smell so good so what i think i'm gonna do is just go ahead and just like let's just yeah i don't know but anyways but yeah those are the ones that i got last in the last video that you saw and how they just bloomed out they just look so beautiful and they smell so good so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and put my sunflowers up and then um put those in a jar and put them up and like I said I like to keep flowers in the house you're just gonna see me fresh flowers all the time either they're, they're given to me my babe yeah either babe yes gets them for me and just pops up with them because he knows I love flowers um, or I get them on my own get them delivered on my own or I uh, like I was in Walmart today and I thought let me give me some fresh flowers because I know it's time for me to get some fresh flowers but anyways, yeah, look at my hair. It's just all puffy and everything else. And I got it done yesterday. And, you know, you saw those, you know, that video, part of the video a little while back. So, a little while ago. So, yeah, I'm going to end this part. I think I'm rambling. I guess that's one thing I got to learn what not to do. But, anywho, so we will be seeing you shortly. We just came back here, changed out cameras, put up the food. We're going to pick up the little one. We have cookie dough to pick up. Fundraiser. Cookie dough. And dad, Dad's getting him some snacks in between. So we're going to go do that. Hello, everybody. We're back again. It is still Wednesday. We decided not to go to Home Goods and to the stores. Um, it's raining too much outside. It's cold. Um, I'm starting to feel the effects of that. So I came home and threw on my sweater. You will see me wear lots and lots of sweaters, especially during the fall and well, on cold days like today and um, and during the winter, like long pants and I don't care what it is. Sometimes in the summertime too, depending on how cold the house is and if I have to go out for something, even if it's for an hour, the longest time I'm really out of the house is maybe an hour two depending on what's going on um and if it's for two hours um yeah i'm gonna be wearing something long sleeve and it, it could be 105 15 degrees like it was this summer in texas and i'm people are looking at me crazy well that's my neuropathy so um my upper extremities is the only thing that uh is affected by it more um 
I can't hold things for long periods of time. You can kind of see my tips are red. You may not see it that much, but I'll in the future I'll show you. But um, my tips of my fingers stay cold. Okay. Well, sorry. Pause. Um. Yeah. So the neuropathy. That's one of the main things. Cold things being cold. Um. Yeah. So, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm comfortable. I'm just trying to keep my bones and everything warm so that way I can, um, you know, get through the rest of the day. But anyways, I'm going to open packages. We had a lot of packages at the door, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, most of it is like shopping again, like I do orders for Walmart, Amazon and get food online and have it delivered. It's much easier that way. Sometimes it's even cheaper for the bulk stuff. Instead of us going to Sam, so I did that. I know a lot of that is that, but um, did have some old navy, oh old navy. Um, so I um, got the boys. Yeah, these are for the older boy, Philly, the 18 year old. We got him a whole bunch of pants, denim, different colors. Um, out of the two older boys, he's the only one that wears um, denim. And the same, the two little ones. Weston's the only one that wears denim. And it's just normal jeans. He um, shops for, at, I shop at Nova Men for them, or we shop at Nova Men, or they shop at Nova Men. Um, and he gets his, like, you know, the fashion styles and all that stuff at Nova Men. They get all that stuff, urban, more urban stuff um, at Nova Men. So maybe you guys will see one of those hauls in the future. Because we do two big shops at the beginning of school and for Christmas. They get new, um, whatever they're needing, whatever. We just do a real, two really big shops. Um, I mean, everything. Two big shops. So, uh, oh, well, speaking of, I have a uh, Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova package. Um, and, yeah, I got some hoodies and sweaters, but... I don't know why I got them some stuff for Fashion Nova. I got myself some stuff for Fashion Nova. I think it was they were doing that fine one. I don't know what they were doing. But they were doing something. Because I got three packages. Yeah. And I got some hoodies. Another hoodie. I guess what I'll do is just do it really slow. So I can kind of put the picture in the frame somewhere. This is, um, because I don't want to take it out. Um, of the package and it says six feet above new beginnings every day is a blessing and that's what it says it's a sunflower and um let's see and then we got this trial and error hoodie or sweater it's got to be a hoodie they don't wear sweaters my kids are hoodies hoodies 365 i'm in my room in the recliner because my back is really hurting um, I have, oh, that was the second, um, that was that. I don't know where the other one is at. I'm not going to deal. And this is from Walmart. I'll just take this off. Let me try it in. Not on anything. This is from Walmart. This is mac and cheese. Um, because I suffer from the issues that I suffer from, and hubby doesn't know how to, um, cook many, many meals. The older kids, because they're about to go off, we've been, you know, teaching them more how to cook and figure out what they can do because um we have something called whatever days and that means for meal for dinner it's whatever um so yeah so it's whatever if it's gonna be leftovers or you're gonna order something from uber or doordash um whoever or you're gonna make something and we try to keep a lot of meals like um sam's they have these chicken sandwiches that taste just like the Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Um, I'll show you guys what they are, but they're pretty good. They're very good dupe for Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Um, and we keep mac and cheese, okay? We keep the, this type of mac and cheese. We have the ones with the bowls. We have the ones with the little pack that you pour in the bowl with the water and everything. Um, we keep noodles. They love noodles. They love noodles. Um, we keep the cup of noodles, the regular ramen noodles. We keep raviolis, we keep we keep all kinds of like quick things like that. Braxton, the 16 year old, he tends to cook more. He cooks more than Billy, the 18 year old. So sometimes Braxton will do a meal. Um, we do have the air fryer for them. We do have a, conven a convectional oven for them. I mean, 
everything because one they need to learn how to do it on this the, them by themselves because when <clears throat> they get older and they have girlfriends or boyfriends or whatever friends i just want them to be able to you know cook and do stuff for their friends we also got more toothpaste Bubby and me so that's that i got another i know what this is um Um, the older boys, um, their smaller pot, well, their, what is this, their two-quart pot, got a hole in it. I just buy them the cheap pots and pans. They're not going to be using my good pots and pans to do everything they be doing, frying their bologna sandwiches and stuff and my stuff. So, um, I had to get them a new set. I went and got them a new set. I just want to hang out. It's just a regular old Walmart mainstay set. They need to have, you know, their own stuff to cook and clean because they are not easy on, you know, the stuff. I think I'm going to move this camera a little bit. This because I am tending to... Oh, it's better because my back is killing me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this. Okay, yeah, so they cook and clean and they're rough and won't use the right utensils and stuff so and that's why their their pot has a, a hole in it and i was like y'all not gonna be using my stuff so i went ahead and got them this a full thing because if that pot if the pot is messed up i can only imagine with their bigger one yeah the four quart is like and their skillet because they use all three of those they don't use the little sauce yeah the little saucepan they don't use that much unless they're like boiling eggs for like a salad or something but they don't use that one much but the other ones i know if that two quart pot had a hole in it i know it's time to replace the other one so i might as well do it all at once and um that's what we get this is i, I want to say this was a, this is well under 20 bucks i want to say it was like 17 dollars or something um they had their last one a little over a year so it they do do good it's just the two of them and um we are creating um I already opened this one. we're creating their college trunks and so what that is is um we're purchasing things little by little we started i got this idea from my cousin it's been i'll say it's almost six years so we have refrigerator microwave pots and pans um um a toaster an iron just like everyday stuff that they'll need we've been slowly buying little by little for each one of them so when they go to college they'll have the stuff they need to go to college i was like that is a genius idea um she got it from her mother who you know We'll put stuff away for her over the years so when she went to college she had some things um it's gonna make it easier for people to not have to get it for them when they do go away and that way they could just focus on more things like gift cards and money and you know other things that they need because over the years we've just been like slowly getting it for them um i started opening this package I'm gonna my packages on. and this is from amazon and it's an led light for the camera yeah, yeah so this is for um what the canon camera i'm gonna get another one someone i saw this on youtube someone had it gotten it and um and they use it so and i love the quality that it gives i'm needing a good light for these cameras um the eos five Wait, this is the EOS 50. The 5? Or, or this, I don't know. The, the white one. The big white one. That one has a flash and a light on it built in, but it's only on certain settings that it's going to, it's useful. It's not whenever I just want it to be on. So that's that. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, we have another fashion over package. We have another fashion over there. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is a sweater. I want to say it's a it's a sweater dress, but it also can be a cardigan. I'm gonna put the picture in the thingy. I'm gonna find the pictures and the links, and it could be a cardigan as well. Um, the buttons. Oh no, this is not the one that could be a card. No, this is a sweater dress. I I stand corrected. This is a black, white, and gold sweater dress. 
I did not. I thought this was a cardigan. Oh, but it's beautiful. It's pretty. And I'm going to put the pictures in the thing so you guys can see. And I'll put links in the description as well so you guys can see that as well. Um, this is a sweater. Um, oh, this is so soft. Oh, my freaking Lord. Oh, my Lord, this is so soft. What material is this? It's called the Adara cardigan so it is a cardigan i knew i got more cardigan i have found some dad sweaters oh i'm gonna be rocking those all season oh what material is this it says 100 polyester this thing is so soft and so fluffy omg look at this oh my gosh look at it it is so beautiful it's so soft. It has so many colors. Um, I have some Steve Madden um, shoes, sneakers coming that will match this color perfectly. And then um, I have some purple and green shoes that I could um, from the drop, Amazon's the drop, that I could wear with this that will go perfectly with it as well to dress it up and make it more dressy. Um, I mean, this is so beautiful. And it's really big. I got this in a... Oh, I got this one in a 3X. Oh, I, you can size... It. I'm a 2X Fashion Nova. I'm a 2X... I'm a 2, maybe 3. 3, it depends on the style. Honestly. I could have honestly gotten this maybe in a 1X. I could have maybe gotten this in a 1X. It's so stretchy. I mean, it's very stretchy. So, I would say you could probably go down two sizes on this one. Yeah, you could definitely probably go down two sizes on that one.
Hey everybody, I'm back real quick. Um, I did not do this last video. Hubby and I went to see Miss Pat in at the Majestic Theater in Dallas, Texas. And um, we got some goodies from Miss Pat. It was a really, really good show. Once again, I mean, she was Miss Pat. So um, we bought a lot of things and they gave us some things as well. So first off, she has a new show out on BET if you have not seen it yet. Okay. Um, so make sure you check that out. They say it's the fastest um, rated show, I want to say. The fastest rated, like, fastest growing show as far as ratings in a while. Um, when it comes to shows being on TV and not streamable. So, yeah. So it comes on weekly. And... This is her book, and she did sign it. We did take a picture of with her. If you follow me on social media, which you probably don't because this is my second video. I'm sorry. But on social media, I did post something on Instagram and Facebook, and that's it. I do. I am on Twitter. I'm just starting the Tiki Talk. Um, the businesses were on TikTok. Like we post more on TikTok for that and Twitter for the businesses. Um, we got... A pin because of how much stuff we got. We got the pin, and then I hope you can see that. Yeah, there we go. The pin, and then we got some pins. Some pins. Miss Pat. Boo 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 boo. And then we got some lanyards. We got the lanyards while we we're there, and um, we got. Oh. more pens oh this is the pop socket for your cell phone we got that so I don't know who's who's gonna get it for whatever phone they're gonna get so it's a pop socket you know for the cell phone another pen got another pen so we got two pens a pop socket and um, a pen and then we got and these are oh this looks like a luggage tag mm. a luggage tag that was included a luggage tag wow be good for the travel the travel and the luggage tag that's kind of cool gifts well i'm just not going through this bag by the way um i think that's everything and then like i said we got the lanterns and then we got some shirts um this one's mine's <laughs> it says f them kids I love Miss Pat. Yeah. That's that's the one. And then Hubby got this one. This is her tour shirt. Your girl done made it. That's the name of her tour. And then on the back it has her tour dates. It was a very, very short tour. I mean, I stumbled upon these tickets. Mm. I want. I wanted to go see her last December for New Year's in in Houston, but something came up. Well, funds were allocated towards something else. I'm not gonna go into it. Something in Houston in the future that happened in May. But anyway, so um, Hubby was like, if she ever comes back. I'll take you. And I was like, okay, great. And then I want to say it was May. Yeah, it had to be around May because that happened. I was like, and he was like, well, I owe you Miss Pat anyway. So let's go see her. And we got really good tickets. The the, the, the tickets were pretty decent. Um, The theater we saw her at was really, really nice. So I'm so glad to say I was able to see Miss Pat and meet her in person. She's a very lovely lady. She's really, really freaking funny. Um, he got the same, the, the, the kids. And then I got this one. This one is right here. It says, leaders don't compete. Leaders don't compete. So I got that one. I'm going to rock that one. This Miss Pat and then we had we got a shirt from the other comedian and um I don't have that one in front of me but it was 
it's an autistic shirt. I'll be rocking it very soon. And it um, has a sneaker with the autistic uh, puzzle pieces. And it says um, something about tying shoes is overrated because that is so funny. You'd have to know what I'm talking about. But tying shoes for someone who's autistic is overrated because they a lot of them don't know how to tie their shoes. Um, his set was so funny. So we had to get those shoot the shirt. Um, I got me and hubby got one and we got them for the two little ones. Um, because tying shoes are, is overrated for them. So, um, my kids wear sketchers with the little Velcro or the ones with the, the Nike shoes. They're already, they're already laced up for them and, you know, they expand as they put them on and off. Um, so yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't. They don't. But anyways, I just have to show you guys that stuff real quick before I put it all away. Um, and I'm going to find the signed copy and I'll show you um, the signed copy. So uh, thanks for your time. And I cannot wait to read this. I cannot wait to read this book. Um, check her show out on BET Plus if you have not. It is so funny. It's a lot of cursing. It's um, it's a lot. It's a lot, but it's good. Um, my older kids watch it with us. Um and they like it. Um, and I know some people say, well, it's cussing, it's this, that, and a third. But the story that she's telling and things that she's talking about in the show, um, they understand it. And sometimes, I'm going to say a lot of the times, teenagers, kids don't listen to us. You, They listen to other people, you know. Um, that's why I'm very mindful as to who they watch and who they listen to. Um, because if you're watching Kai Sent, because I just found out who Kai Sent is. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm new to YouTube. Um, I need to know what Kai Sent is talking about. I need to know what Kai Sent is doing. Because I don't need you thinking you could do what he's doing, especially if it's inappropriate. So anyways, yeah. So <clears throat> they are able to understand what they talk about in there when it comes to teenagers. So if you need checked it, go watch it. It's a really, really good show. It's very entertaining. It keeps you laughing. And she did really, really good. So I'm so glad we got to experience that. But, um, yeah, that's that. And thank you for, um, tuning in.